Moments before starting the next step, all Universe 7 warriors advanced to the next stage. Some had more difficulties than others, but all managed to do well. Vegeta was still shaken by Topo. He had defeated Kaba, who fell from the arena and thus was erased. And all Vegeta could think about was revenge. Vegeta isolates himself from the others and decides he doesn't want to talk to anyone. Frieza was furious with Broly. After all, Broly had beaten him up and that really made Frieza feeling more angry at the Saiyans. But Frieza still hadn't used all his power. He prefers to save his last transformation for a more important moment. Gohan and Piccolo were exhausted but managed to overcome their limits. Gohan and Piccolo were in the hallway close to their respective rooms when Granola comes closer and then Gohan asks, Hey Granola! Why didn't we hear about you or seen you in the arena when we started fighting? We thought you had been defeated. Granola then responds, I can't say what you hear, but I think I got lucky. When the fighting started, I was thrown to the opposite side of the arena. I faced some warriors, but I didn't have many difficulties. I didn't even use up all my energy. Piccolo says, You really got lucky. Broly was in his room thinking about the things that happened inside the arena and his new transformation that he had achieved. When you managed to control your powers. When he managed to control his powers. But Broly also thought about Kale. But still, he couldn't get his thoughts out of Shalai, who was waiting for him on this planet. On the other floors of the remaining universes, everything was a little more empty. Kale and Khalifa were nervous and anxious for the next stage, but they felt sad when they learned that Kaba had been defeated and that left them very shaken. Khalifa swears to avenge Kaba. Khalifa says to Kale, I'm gonna rip that bastard's mustache off. It was kind of weird and boring, but he was one of us. I will never forgive that bastard. Kale is extremely sad and both are very shaken. Hit is thoughtful and calmly awaits the next phase. On the other floor, Topo is feeling guilty after all he had defeated many warriors and that had messed with his head. Jiren looked out of the windows towards the arena. With a cold gaze, he just watches in silence. All the remaining warriors were somehow feeling somehow strange hovering in the air and feel very anxious to know the results of this tournament. Meanwhile, the Gods of Destruction felt completely desolate for not knowing what the outcome of this tournament would be. All the Gods were thinking the same thing, that could not be defeated. After all, they would give their all to remain Gods. The Angels were making improvements and repairs in the arena, which was badly damaged due to the battles that took place. Zeno in his realm is completely excited. His eyes don't stop shining and he couldn't wait to start another phase. Zeno Sama is extremely excited to see the next fights due to the performance of all the warriors. We see Frieza sitting looking out the bedroom window, directly at the throne where Zeno is watching everything. Frieza smiles and says, <laughs> Soon that throne will be mine, and absolutely no one will be able to defeat me. <laughs> the first part of the tournament had some setbacks, and that damn Saiyan almost finished me off. But for what I saw, his absurd power doesn't even come close to the powers I got with the revolution of my Black Freezer form. Ultra Black Freezer. <laughs> When I face him again, everything will be different. After all, my name is Frieza, the ruler, the emperor of all universes. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Vegeta's room, he continues to feel extremely guilty. In his eyes, you can see the fury and hatred that overflows. Goku, meanwhile, tried to recover his energy, but he couldn't stop thinking about what mysterious Bean had said. Hey, how's it going? Just here to remind you to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel so you don't miss any videos and stay well inside our entire universe of Dragon Ball. Let's go back to the point. And so, at this moment, everyone hears the voice of Daishikan. Get ready. Everyone go back to the arena. I will explain the second phase of the tournament. We can see 50 warriors from different universes. Extremely powerful warriors entering the arena. Around, we can observe all the gods of destruction watching. Xenosama on his throne, he looks anxiously full of expectations. From the self slowly, the high priest, he says, My congratulations to you all. 
for the incredible performance. Xeno Lord Sama is extremely happy with everything that has seen so far. In this next step, we will do another battle royale, which will end when we have 24 warriors. All other rules remain the same. We're going to start right now, so get ready. At that time, all fighters prepare, stopping in combat position. And Daishi Khan asks, Are you ready? Let the second phase begin! Immediately, all the warriors disperse, each one going to a different place in the arena. Some are already going straight for their rivals. Vegeta, who is thirsty for revenge, advances upwards to the topo. Goku starts looking for the mysterious warriors. Dranola is attacked by two people at the same time. Several warriors decide to unite so that they can defeat the most powerful. Hit decides to look for Goku. The two Saiyans from Universe 6 are still together facing some enemies, and Broly starts looking for Kale to explain himself to her. At that moment, Gohan and Piccolo were fighting several enemies at the same time. Gohan doesn't wait long to raise his power to the maximum using his latest transformation. And Gohan says to Piccolo, We can't take it easy, so let's go with everything. Piccolo begins to focus his power and increase his ki. His skin turns orange and his body begins to increase in size. Then he transforms into Orange Piccolo. And the two warriors go after the enemies. Granola that faced two warriors at the same time did well, but the fight has just begun. Deviant and Otter are extremely powerful warriors who always fight in pairs, for their abilities complement each other. They obsess the power of gravity and anti-gravity. Granola punches Deviant who uses his ability to make the blow lighter and thus weaker, and Otter uses his skill on Deviant, making that whenever he strikes his blow become heavier and thus more destructive. Granola begins to have difficulties, but using his speed, he loses lures them to the edge of the arena. Deviant throws a punch and at the exact moment he does that, Otto uses his powers to make it extremely heavy. Granola dodges at the last second. The punch hits the ground and the arena begins to break apart. At this moment, Granola uses his power, throwing a sphere of key, hitting them both, eliminating them immediately. Or so Granola thought. Hit finally finds Goku and Goku is happy to see a known rival. Goku smiles and says, Huh, you decided to find me then? And Hit responds, Last time you were lucky and I let my guard down and I couldn't show my real skill. In this tournament, there are no rules that stop me from doing what I do best. As he says this, Hit slowly walks towards Goku. He opened his arms very slowly and continues to say, I am the great assassin of Universe 6, so I can just kill. When he finishes opening his arms and his hands, Two swords made with a ski appears, extremely lethal and powerful swords. At that moment, Hit propels himself towards Goku who is surprised and says, What is this? I thought we were friends. Hit responds, I wouldn't say friends, but I can't say that I like you, but I have work to do. Hit starts to attack using the swords, attacking from side to side, trying to cut Goku who dodges. Goku is excited and says, Ha! <laughs> what an incredible technique, Hit! But I can use something like that. So Goku uses his key to create a protective layer of energy on his arms. And the battle starts to get extremely serious, the countenance of the two change. And Hit, with a cold stare, he looks at Goku and says, won't you transform? And Goku, who already appeared to be out of breath, responds, I don't know if I can. It's been a while since my body has been weird. And even if I regain some energy, my powers are running out easily. But come on, show me everything you got. Hit attacks with his swords with his left hand and Goku manages to block. But Hit uses his infinite time jump and then turns and with his left hand crosses the sword in the belly. Goku spits blood and falls to the ground. Hit says, you're finished. It turns his back and starts walking. It closes his eyes and says, It was nice fighting you, buddy. But a big explosion happens and an extremely frightening key appears. It is the three mysterious warriors. And at that moment, their leader says, So that means he can do it too. To be continued. What happened to Goku? Why did that mysterious warrior say that? Regardless of what it is, it is more than important that you already expose it here in your comments so that we can enter into that crazy debate. Click the like button, subscribe here to the channel so you don't miss any videos. And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.